Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, the rock of Seattle. We get our loud and local band of the week. This week, it's Action S. Local band of the week, Action S. You want to get more info from them? Uh, you know, find out where they're playing, where you get the CD. Yeah, new records called The Deep Bright Below, and also they're known for incredible, crazy live shows. So if you want to go check these guys out, uh, you can see them on May 16th next Thursday, Fisherman's Village Music Festival. That's happening in Everett. Get more info by going to the BJ and Migs page of KISW.com, and don't forget Sunday nights. You like local music? You got two hours of it. Loud and local Sunday nights at 10 o'clock, right here on the Rock, with great bands like Action S. Friday, everyone. That's right, brother. I hope people out there are as excited as we are. Damn straight. Uh, why wouldn't they be? Um, Weather's I, great. Yeah. yeah. Unless it's, you know, it's not somebody's Friday, you know. Oh, yeah. It's, no, it's everybody's Friday. <laughs> oh, Steve's pissed off. He didn't like that phrase. It's not my Friday. <laughs> Shut up. My name is Steve. Thank you. Oh, oh, that, that was, was a good great impression. impression. Yeah, that was yeah. really good. Thanks, man. I almost <laughs> forgot I was in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get to our contestant today. We got Chris in Maple Valley. Chris, are you there? I am. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, Chris. Thanks. What's he playing for today? Uh, tickets to check out Clutch and the Dropkick Murphys over at the yeah. Wamu Theater on October 15th. <laughs> Go to KISW.com for all the details if you want to check out Clutch and the Dropkick Murphys. Get your tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. All right, Steve. Get out of here. Yay! For those playing at home, Chris will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Chris, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? I am. In the TV show Family Guy, Peter started a church worshiping which Happy Days character? The Fonz. Yes. Which is the most populated Caribbean island? St. Thomas. No. Uh, St. Martin. No. Pass. What drug did George Harrison's dentist give to the Beatles in 1965? Cocaine. No. <laughs> Marijuana. No. Vicodin. No. What is Ozzy Osbourne's real first name? Uh, 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 my John uh, John Michael Osbourne. No. No. Ooh, um, Clock is real buddy. first name. Ah. Just the first name. Jonathan. Yeah, sure. I guess Dale Carnegie wrote the book How to Win Friends and What. 
Influence others. No. Pass. Well, uh, what, was the, what was the answer to Ozzy? Uh, well, I have John. Well, he anyway. said John Michael. I mean, he, but he said he said the full name. I was ask, just asking for the first name, um, and he kept going. I, I, I think you screwed him. Normally, on this deal. I, I'd agree, but I feel like we've taken. Yeah, you we've screwed. Taken you, yeah, he before. said as soon as he says the name, I think you should say yeah. I think you kind of screwed him on the time on that. You I have gone like. back and forth on that so many times. I don't know if I have. I mean, he <sighs> said. I mean, on that one, he said John. <sighs> Yeah, all right. Well, I mean, I feel like he's. I mean, he was, I gave it to him anyway. Well, you wait. It took a long time. I feel. I almost feel like we got to give him this. Oh, jeez. All it's right, a, great. It took a lot of time. Let's just off give the everyone job. every the prize every time. Yeah. Why do we even play this freaking game? We took a lot of time off the clock for that guy, and he did come up. I well, we'll see what oh, Steve says. Geez. We'll see what Steve says. Okay. God, yeah, blah, 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 whatever. Steve, are you ready? Oh happy. yeah. Happy, How Steve. happened? I don't know. He's got his period. You don't know. You know exactly what happened. He's having a period. You're an ass. Period. Is yeah. Flo visited you? Yeah. Mm. Flo's at Rev's house. In the TV show Family Guy, Peter started a church worshiping which Happy Days character? Fonzie. Yeah. Yes. Nice. What is the most populated Caribbean island? Crap. Bermuda. No. Jamaica. No. Jamaica. Ooh, I want um, to Puerto Rico. No. Oh, what dr- from earlier. What drug did George Harrison's dentist give to the Beatles in 1965? LSD. Yes. That's it. What is Ozzy Osbourne's real first name? John Michael. No. John. Yes. Dale Carnegie wrote the book How to Win Friends and What? Influence people. Yes. Who and played get laid? Who yeah. played Vincent Vega in Pulp Fiction? Oh, John Travolta. Yes. Which Robert which Rogers and Hammerstein musical is named after a state? Chicago. No. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know. Musical cats. No. (laughs) (laughs) New York. No. In regards to the Wu-Tang Clan, what does ODB stand for? Oh, dirty bastard. Yeah. Yeah. Which man received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964? Huh? Which man received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964? Jesus. No. (laughs) One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, you win by score, but I don't know what we're doing, so, uh... I'll give you the song. I'll give you the song. But let me ask you a question. I win. Yeah, you win. But I, I want to ask you a question. Okay. So you said John Michael. Is I mean it's John. Don't you think you should get the answer right? Or, or in, because that's, I said real first name, and he's and the guy said John Michael Osborne. Like he gave his full name as an. Oh, answer. so he did that too. Yes. So I, I, yeah, I told you no as myself because well. I got excited. Yeah, and the guy was. Yeah, the guy, I would give it to him. That's what we're saying. Because there's lots of times where I say something and I'll or you know and, and I'll give like the full name or I'll give just the last name and you'll say yes. I mean, there's like where's yeah. the fine line on this? Or you time? do like the city name and the state name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and that. that's why I've changed my mind on it, Rev, because. We've agreed that if you give part of the name, you guys defeated me way back then. So that's why I've had to shut it down. All right. So even though he got a deuce, I guess we're just giving him the prize. Well, he took a long time because you told him he was wrong, and he sat there and he didn't. He didn't someone pass says it's me. like when you ask for a number, and someone says one, two, three, and you say yes, two. Yeah, I mean, so like, there would be no different. It's a good point. But he wasn't saying John, and then oh, fine, whatever. Chris, wow. congratulations, you win the prize. But if someone says one, two, three. <laughs> Or John Michael Osborne, if, if one of the correct, if it's one of those correct answers, and it is sure, sure, wow. sure, I love sure, it. just give it all away. Wow! So, so it says John Michael Osborne. It's technically three guesses. No, so put one of those God. guesses is correct. I agree. Oh, and look, if it's pissing the rev off more and more, and the, and the testers I'm, agree, I think I'm it's funny board. that this is actually pissing the rev off. I know. I'm surprised. Well, I, congratulations, Chris, on winning your prize. It's and Friday. Just giving your participation <laughs> pro <laughs> trophy to everybody. It's not a participation trophy. What we're doing here. Got it. Kind of right. I think it's actually the host error is the real yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah. The host of this show, BJ. <laughs> yeah, I made the error by putting you on this show. Hang on the line, Chris. <laughs> you get the prize. Danny's the new host Man, of Phoenix. I don't know about that. No, Danny might cry. Yep. That would be fun. <laughs> what if Danny was just doing... Wow. I thought, I thought we had his understudy is, is Sarah. Oh, Sarah's still back in the running? All right, fine. All right, she's the new host. No, we keep the rev. Well, you told me I made a mistake. I mean, I got to correct it, right? All right, fine. Hey, congratulations, Chris. You're a winner. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Great win. All right. You know I what I think the Rev's problem is? What happened? The problem is, I think, uh, that he doesn't have any new friends. Oh. Huh? When was the last <laughs> time the Rev made a new friend? Uh, fairly recently. You have a new friend, really? Well, in the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because hey. we got a study that oh says, actually, God. we this, don't. This could be the worst transition. That was a terrible segue. That was terrible. Segway. 
I mean, I not, that was segue of the year, guys. That was actually one of the worst. I would what say. are you talking about? That was. You know what the problem the with the Rev is? He needs new he friends. Needs new friends. It leads right into the story. How crazy is this? I now have a story about friendship. What's the deal about people and not having new friends? Okay, what's your story that had nothing to do with the Rev? I think it has everything to do with the greatest segue in the history of radio. But he even shot you down. He says he's made some new friends recently. He says he has, but have you seen him? Yeah. Oh. What have you seen, Reverend? Well, I mean, friends? I've seen him from like an outsider perspective. He has his birthday parties, and I know he has new people coming over to them. Okay, fair enough. You yeah, never I've go. got new friends. He's got new friends. Okay. And all. Turns days. out that actually our ability to make new friends peaks. Oh, you're going to be some. This is, this is tough. When? At the age of 23. And then oh, it starts no. declining your ability to make. Look, I'm living proof. I've had to get back into the friend game for years. Uh, dude, for years I had no. I was part of therapy. I had no friends. Right. Outside of you losers. Thank well, you. and look at us. We stuck by your side. Yeah. Even though you've been so mean to us. Well, I mean, really, I had to cut you out. I mean, I work with you, but don't. No, don't. you have a whole new circle with yeah. your board game. Exactly. People. And it turns out that the average adult, and I was that guy, hadn't, hasn't made a new friend in five years. Now, can you guys, I mean, honestly say that you've got new friends that you've made in the past five years? Like I, new friends yes. that are part of your circle? I've at least... Ten new friends. Good for you, man. You're, you're beating well, the system. Because of wrestling. Oh, yes, of course. I, I've, I've encountered some new people in my life. I have a, two of my closest friends that I did not know two years ago. Good for you, dude. You're bucking the trend. And Danny? Well, I yes. think you probably have because you moved here, right? Moving, yeah. moving makes you make new friends. So, But right, yeah. beyond that, probably not. I probably wouldn't have if I didn't move. Vicky, how about you? Yeah, I'm trying to think when I my old my last old roommates moved in with me and I became really good friends with them. That was like four, three years ago or something. And now you so. got nothing. Why? I thought, well, the, the, you're closing in on five years. you have any yeah. new friends since those guys? I mean, I guess technically some of the board game peeps, like I knew them, but I didn't actually start conversing and hanging out with them within the last year or so. Oh, so you're hanging out with people? See, yeah. I mean, I look at the people we hang out with, like Steve said. Steve says he's got two new best friends. Well, Acquaintances I mean, are different. Yeah, they're close friends. Yeah, yeah close I'm friends. Not, I'm not the one that just throws out best friends. Well, like close Danny friends, does. yeah. Not yeah. everybody's my best friend. That's a good point. Like, you should only have one best friend. Every time I see Danny posting on Facebook, I'm with my, new, my, with my best friend, and I'm like, that looks nothing like the last best friend. That you were hanging out with. I have lots of best friends. I know you're my best friend too. No, no, you're not. You're not mine. Best means. You know what the word best means? You're a close friend. Yeah. Is it like those awards they do where it's like the best restaurant, the best tattoo shop, the best bar? You just have different categories. Yeah, different categories, right, Danny? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Vote, vote most likely to irritate me. Damn. BJ, you're my best friend too. No, you're not. No. <laughs> my best angry friend. No, no, I got news for you. No. What are we no, doing? Best old man. Can we, can we uh, yell with the Rev again? Yeah, let's yell to the Rev. Mr. Again. Rev. Rev. Yeah. John Michael. Yeah, keep me out of this one. John Michael. <laughs> John Michael. No. Yeah. Uh, this is, and it's also hard to break into somebody's friend group. It's funny. As we get older, we don't want to hear about new music. We don't want to hear about new things. And mm-hmm. we don't want new friends, I guess, according to this study. I wonder why that is. Do you think it's just a lack of trust in that person? They don't want to go through the process of, of vetting them out? That's really, it's, it's, you know, I think it's a discomfort level with people that aren't on your same page. Which is sometimes what happens in life. It used to be we'd hang out with anybody, and if you notice, look, I mean, you can you kind of can see with today, today's political climate, people don't want to be around people that disagree with them. Which is funny because I think, oh man, I would say half of my friends are completely on the other side politically than I am. Of yeah. my closest friends. If not, maybe more than half of them. I got a buddy. I don't care if they have a different political yeah. opinion. I, we will disagree on, when those conversations come up, we're able to have civil disagreements and then also point out the stupidity on both sides yeah my but my buddy's got a political ideology that is completely different than mine mm-hmm. and i game with him and he's a great guy his wife is awesome but i completely i would tell you steve i completely disagree with everything he believes for the most part and that's okay but he's still a good dude it's like right. he and his wife are good people i don't have to agree with them politically and i know if for some reason we got in a situation where we had to hash some stuff out where all of a sudden he was in charge or i was in charge and then we had to all of a sudden i know we could figure it out but i don't have to it's like all right dude vote for you what you want do what you want believe what you want you're still a good dude when we get together what do i care but people don't want that is they just it's amazing when i go on like i talk to other people they go i can never be friends with that person why because they believe this and i go so Mm -hmm. who cares i mean it's a valid opinion so what if it's different than yours they're still good people and they we don't do that anymore and it seems the older a person gets the more they draw those lines and then that may make it tough to make friends 
We have to get to someone. I mean, I, I don't know. It's, I, we don't spend all of our time arguing over stuff like that. But like you know, deep down, there's certain beliefs that each of us might have that just differ. Oh, but dude, yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't need to yell at pe- good people because they have a different opinion than me. Yeah, you're a smart guy. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, about that you. might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. You are now oh, my best I, friend. Did I say I can't be your best friend? I'm Danny's. Oh, Sorry. Crap. Yeah, I was too yeah. late. I was claimed. Yeah. It's time for Listeners on the Loose. This is where you pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Texas at 77999. Let us know if we're your best friend. Your calls and texts at 917 on the Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on the Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW. The Rock of Seattle. It's Listeners on the Loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Whatever you want to talk about, man. This is your call. Your baby. But remember, Steve has a rule. That's to show some energy and bring it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to say goodbye to you. Goodbye, old friend. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Let's go to Michael in Seattle. Michael, you are on the rock. Hey, BJ. Hey, Michael. Earlier earlier you were talking about Mutual Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Yeah, Jim Fowler, one of the co-hosts on that, and the guy who used to bring the animals to Johnny Carson back in the day, uh, he passed away. Absolutely. Well, there was a lineup. I wanted to see if you remembered it as well as I do. All right. Wonderful World of Disney. Oh, yeah. Mutual of Omaha's you, Wild Kingdom. Do you guys remember Wonderful World of Disney at all? It was a weekly TV show uh, where they would always have movies, and sometimes they would, I think, present some of the movies that were in the theater. I remember the name. I don't remember anything else about it, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah, that same. back in the day. Yeah. And okay. then the mystery movie, which was usually either Columbo or Macmillan and Wife, <laughs> but might be Banachek or McLeod. Yeah, that's wow. right. Remember those? Yeah, so, and it was, yeah, you said that Columbo had his own TV show, but it was actually part of a rotating, uh, you know, bunch of shows that would come on in the mystery movie, and sometimes you'd watch Columbo, sometimes you'd watch a guy named McLeod, and, oh yeah, that was, that was back in the day, brother. Thank you. I feel less old. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever want to feel less old, yeah. contact me, Jay. Yeah, Shea. contact me. You will not feel bad yeah it was the weirdest thing Columbo was a great character but he wasn't always on every week the the television show yeah because it was the mystery movie was the name of the show and then every once in a while time yeah you would have Columbo as your guy and other times it'd be somebody else was this like Saturday afternoons or something like that no it was like during the it might have been like a Thursday night or a Sunday night or something wow okay it was uh, yeah it was it was the I forgot the mystery movie it's just weird, man. Uh, so we had a text about earlier. We were talking about how today, in addition to it, uh, it being National Shrimp Day, it's also National Hulk Day, you That's said. That's right. The 1962, when the first Hulk came out. And then you were giving me a hard time because you're like, oh, you should play the sad Hulk music. And I'm like, well, you should play sad Hulk music on a day that's supposed to be a celebration of the Hulk. Yeah. So a texture says, why would you not play the Hulk theme from the old cartoon? It's Hulk Day, and it's a ridiculous song. I don't know if I remember that. Well, Rev and I were trying to figure it out, and Rev yeah. found something. I, I don't remember this at all. I found it, and I hope this is it. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, I, I take umbrage at that. The Hulk Why? was not ever loving. It was the thing that was ever loving. The ever loving blue eyed thing. So F those people that took the thing's moniker. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm, I'm Shots not, fired. Yeah. Oh, I was never happy with the Hulk. I never liked him because the thing was one of the strongest guys in the mm-hmm. Marvel Universe until then the Hulk came and was stronger than everybody. And I was like, well, F you, Hulk. That was from the 1966 cartoon version of The Incredible Hulk. I remember that now. So what's the best superhero theme song. Oh, it's got to be Spider-Man. Spider-Man. It's got to be, yeah. I mean, what about Ambiguously Gay Duo? That's a pretty good one. Oh, well, yeah, gay yeah duo. that is actually awesome. That, yeah, I got to give you credit there. I, I do love Spider-Man, but I feel like Batman's the one. Batman's iconic. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can't argue with that. Well, what about this one? Oh, yeah. This is actually cool. I did like this one. I mean, it's groovy. Yeah, I'm with you, Steve. I can't believe I said groovy. It's really groovy. It's definitely got that groove, brother. I'm totally blinking right now. Help me out. It's a... Uh, Flash! Oh, Flash Gordon! Go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Flash! Ah. That's not, oh, no. yeah, that's the uh, Queen song. Yeah. yeah, He's more of a sci-fi guy. He's, a, than yeah. a, he's not really a superhero, was but... Was he a comic book character? He was, but he wasn't a superhero. It's just a, he was just a space traveler. See, I think for me, though, 
when Captain America throws his mighty oh shield. Oh, my God. I remember that. <laughs> All those who chose to oppose his shield must yield. That's pretty good, yeah. When it's sun to the, 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 the red it. and the white and the blue come through. Hey, when Bucky. Captain America got his mighty shield. shield. Wow. I don't yeah. have to look that one up. That's Thanks. a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that one. That's a good theme. Because I love Captain America. Yeah. 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 Good job, buddy. <laughs> Someone agrees with Vicky, Batman. Yeah, Batman's definitely. I mean, it's hard to argue with that old Batman theme. Yeah. But what I love is that in all the new Spider-Man movies, you know, at least in the in, you know in the previews and the teasers, they do you do hear the old theme being used from Spider-Man, yep. Spider-Man. I mean, the Ramones covered that. Yeah. So you got to give them extra points also for that. I forgot the Ramones covered that. Yes. That's right. They did a bitchin' version of that. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I forgot about that. So it's the greatest said American. <laughs> oh, I said groovy. Yeah. So it's the greatest American hero. It's the best theme song in my opinion. No, it's not. Believe it or not. No. Um, I'm looking at an article it. and that's. Uh, the second one they have. No. Top superhero theme song. You know Free. I'm going to tell you right now, one of the worst Star Trek themes ever, I believe, was inspired by the Greatest American Hero theme. And it's oh. a theme for Enterprise. And it's Dude. horrible. The it Greatest is, American it, Hero theme song is great. Uh, huh. Uh, I feel like this. I, I feel like we wouldn't have ever had that horrible Star Trek Enterprise theme if it wasn't for the greatest. American well, that's not their theme. fault. The blood is on Spock's hands. I agree. This is, the blood is on Spock's hands. I totally forgot the X Men the animated series, the X Men theme song. I don't know that one from that. Uh, one. Okay, I'll find it. Hold on. Yeah, or maybe the Rev can find it because we won't be able to hear it over there. Well, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I, don't I was going to find it. it and send it to him. But oh, okay, right. I was trying to be helpful for once. I'm well, never doing it again. Yeah, yeah, you really shouldn't. You're only helpful because you want to hear it. Yeah, I do. You know, pretty feel. much. When we <laughs> ask for something, could it be? Are you really Believe it or not, oh. it's just me. Yeah, it better now. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I always thought that was the Growing Pains theme song. When I heard that, it just reminds it me. It does of, have a similar vibe. Yeah. I don't know. I, that, I, I never knew what that was actually from. The now you know, buddy. Yeah. I uh, found the X-Men opening theme song for Vicky. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Dun, dun, dun. It, is, I agree it was my you. ringtone for the longest time. I agree with you. It's iconic 90s, yeah. 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 But it doesn't have cool lyrics. Yeah, you need but stupid, like, goofy wow. lyrics. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, this is such a 90s cartoon yes. theme. You're right. Wow. It sounds so dated now. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Vicky. <laughs> Thanks, Vicky. I'm singing along. I missed that part. Oh, you're singing along to yes, the, 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 the instrumental. There was no, no. And it was, show me that smile again. Show me that smile. Is that smile. from what, Growing Pants? Yeah. Don't waste another <laughs> minute of you crying no, when no, we're no. near no. the end. Yeah, See, gross. it's like the same the thing. The best yeah. is right, to you, begin. You want to find the Enterprise As long as we song? got each other. Yeah, yeah, those two songs made me hate a Star Trek theme, which usually Star Trek themes are awesome, except this one for Enterprise, which they tried to make it this sappy soap opera intro, which I believe, again, they stole from The Greatest American Hero and stole from Growing okay. Pains. Do you have it, Rev, at all? It is horrible. Long, long, this is a science fiction, powerful TV show theme. In a long time. This is like, um... It's horrible. It sounds like the start of Sister Christian. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's just... I will see my dreams. Is this Brian Adams? I don't know who this is, but they should be jettisoned out of an airlock is who they should be. Are they about to make out on the show? Oh, dude, it's horrible. I mean, this, this TV series was doomed because this was how it started Wait, every this week. this was their theme song? Yes. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah, this was... Whoever was in charge of Star Trek then should quit TV. This sounds like Sweet Victory. Yeah. But yeah. not as good. Yeah, SpongeBob yeah. Space Pants. Yeah, this doesn't remind me of Greatest American Hero. No, not no, at all. No, you're right. I, I think I think that I you're right. I can't blame it anymore. It's way slower than yeah. Greatest American Hero. Yeah, you need to take away your hate for the Greatest American Hero. Right. Okay, we don't have to hear this anymore, Rev. This is pathetic. <laughs> you know, it wasn't a horrible series. It had its moments, but that song was like, oh, every week you're like, really? You're still going to play this? Do you count the Ninja Turtles as superheroes? Yeah, it's mutant and Ninja Turtles. Because yeah, they, they were pretty be. super. They were heroes. They just happened they were to also be ninjas. Yeah. yeah, they were in what, a half shell? Sure. Yeah. What about uh, Inspector Gadget? He's kind of a superhero, I yeah. guess, because he's got, you know, those go-go gadget arms. Oh, my God. How did that song go? 
I'm totally blinking right now. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget. Yeah, I was never a never a real big fan of him. Yeah, I was always jelly. Yeah, why? He had the coolest like gadget. He was so badass. He was a ripoff of Mr. Fantastic. You know. Oh, jeez. Everyone's a ripoff of Fantastic Four character. He was more of a ripoff of Get Smart. The worst. Yeah. Even though it was a better Fantastic movie than it ever would be done. Or what? Like the Million Dollar Man or something? Because he's robotic-ish. Six million dollar man. Six million dollar man. Did I say million? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, has to be, no, he didn't rip off anybody. He was his own guy. No, I'm saying what, what Inspector Gadget would be more of a rip off of that guy. Well, it's because he also could stretch, and you know how he had his body parts that could stretch. Inspector Gadget, his arm could go really long, mm-hmm. his legs. That's what Mr. But Fantastic. But he could only could do. do it with he yeah, said, but, "Go, go, Gadget." Yeah, and Mr. Fantastic didn't have skates in his feet. No, he didn't. You're absolutely See, right. See, I just thought he was like a hyped up version of the Get Smart character. Me too. Oh yeah. Was that was the guy who did his voice? Was that uh, Don Adams? Was he, was he Inspector oh, I Gadget? I don't know. No, I don't know that one. Now that you said that, Steve, it's so bizarre that you thought he was... Because the Get Smart guy is just a regular human being. Yeah, but he always had, like... I don't know why, but he could talk out of his shoes. Just said Inspector yeah. Gadget had, like, all these cool things. So I just kind of connected the two for that reason. And they were both in... Who like, was the... Uh, who was... Uh, Don who, Adams. Don was Adams, the, yeah. Yes, he was the one who did the Steve, Inspector Gadget. I think that's the only voice. reason you thought of Get Smart was because the guy who was the Get Smart guy was the Gadget voice. He really? He was, Dude, yes. I mean, Whoa. That's just... Just trippy, the mind blown. The yeah. get smart guy would always talk out of his shoe, and Inspector Gadget, everything popped out of his hat. Yeah, mm. it was the same thing, I only mean, yeah, different. Yeah. Pretty close. <laughs> it's the exact same thing, just completely different. Right. Now, I know you guys know the Steve Carell version of Get yes. Smart, which yeah. was an okay movie. The Rock was in that too. I love that movie. Yeah, it was, it was, awesome. it was fun. It was Thank fun. You. It's on yeah. Netflix right now. Yeah, but nice. the TV show, man, it was a that was a good TV show back in the day too. But I remember the, the movie where it was the nude bomb that they were trying to stop. Oh right, <laughs> yeah, and oh. it would, it was a bomb that went off that make would people would have would end up being naked. Oh yeah, and the, and I can't remember the name of the woman that played ninety nine. Of course, it was um uh, the, the the newer one. That's the Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. She, she did the on. newer version ninety nine. Yes. Barbara Feldon was like the, one of the it girls of TV back in my day. She was. She was good business. Nice. Yeah. Now she's probably 107. I don't even know if she's still alive. All right. Uh, you pick the topic. You guide this show. She's probably dead. They're all dead. Danny. Everybody I love is dead, Danny. They're all dead. They're all dead. You pick the topic. You guide the show. Listeners on the loose. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. More of your calls and texts at 933 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Let's go to Mike in Tacoma. Mike, you are on The Rock for listeners on the loose. Go ahead, buddy. Uh, yeah, I was looking for uh, a little advice on oh. uh, a sensitive subject. Uh, in like two hours, I'm getting a vasectomy. I'm worried about <laughs> sa- saving the old uh, coin purse area. Are you doing it yourself or are they doing it? They told me I had to do it myself. Oh, yeah. If you don't have There's a... There's a lot of stuff going on down there. Yeah, there is. Uh, they have a razor. Yeah. Wait, you have to do the vasectomy yourself? No, he's... No, he's got to shave. <laughs> I got to shave myself. Oh. I'm like, well, dude, I get like Groupon probably offers great deals, but yeah. that seems a little ridiculous. That's how you get such a cut road uh, cut Shave. rate price. Yeah, I actually uh, think it's a joke, and the doctors take a bet on how many nicks you have when you come in there. Yeah, well, how see, smooth do you have to get? In two hours, I just took the volume they gave me. Oi, oi, oi. Wait, see, so you took the volume before you shaved? So yeah. Well, I got to shave right about now. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Do it live on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anybody got any advice? Yeah. Anybody have any advice? Listen, whether I'll be listening. Thanks. Uh, oh, he's done. Um, okay. Yeah, my yeah. advice was to call before then two more. I mean, how smooth do you got to get on these things? I think just enough so that you that they can navigate their way through there. I don't think you have to be super smooth, but you know how some guys have jungles. Yeah, you gotta be. You know, you gotta figure that. I feel like a one attachment, just kind of. I feel like they they would give you an actual razor blade to do it, and actually have to shave with a razor blade. Have you guys ever done that? Really? No. I I I think if you use the body attachment that will take your hair all the way down. Yeah. You know, like that should be the no attachment. Yeah, you got to be careful. That 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 won't feel good on that area. Well, you guy. Well, not to say that I. Well, I I. I'm, well, I'm, I'm an expert at that area. Okay. I, I know what to well, do. Well, maybe you should offer to go over to his place. Our show's almost over. Yeah. yeah. He's got two hours. Oh, my. Yeah, I'll go over there. Swing on yeah. by there and help him oh, manscape. Yeah, yeah. According to uh, information on the online about this situation, it says do not use an electric razor on the um, yeah. boys. 
uh, single blade disposable razor is the best choice. Really? I use not a single blade. I use like a multiple blade one. Why can't you use an electric razor? Why, why would that? Why is that a problem? I think it would nick it, man. Oh, see, I'm very careful. Right. I mean, I don't use like the, the one you use on your we're face. We're talking on the barrel, right? right? Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, again, I'm careful. You know, uh, just, and just so, pluck them. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's that. Ah, Ouch! I I, I I just I think a razor, man, you really could just cut yourself if you if it's a, if it's a sharp blade. Someone says use a dull blade. Oh, they okay. use for your face. Another person says start with electric clippers, finish with a razor. Um, another person says just get them waxed. Ooh. Oh, yeah. wax them would be awesome. Oh. Ouch! No. Oh yeah, wax them up. What about like just like get some there and just drop them in like 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 the eggs oh, like gosh. a Easter egg? Uh, well, <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, no, 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 except no, no, I think no. it would tingle in a bad way. Like when you icy hotted your guys, yeah, I feel like that would be an icy hot situation. Let's go to Matt in Covington. I think we've helped out as much as oh, we can. He's only got two hours. You guys don't know squat. You need to use put a guard on that personal groomer first, and then use a fresh blade with some shaving cream. Huh. Yeah, really? Fresh. To get it all the way. See, I'm, I don't work that hard. Okay. Yeah, I won't. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm happy with how things are. It's not completely smooth, but it should be enough to do the job if they're going to go in and do an operation. Let's go to Matt and Covington. Matt, you are on the rock. Morning, boys. Morning, What's up, Matt? Matt? What's up, bud? Hey, Mike, use a Gillette Fusion, the one that uh, does the micro vibration. Okay. All right, here we go. Shaving cream. Okay, uh, good call. Nice. So question, question for Steve. Uh, hockey question. What do you think is the better... Story this year, kind of the you know the heartfelt uh, like TJ Oshie last year with his dad with Alzheimer's, but uh, this year Pat Maroon going back home so he could play near his kid, betting on himself taking the less money, or possibly Joe Thornton going to the Cup Finals, uh, San Jose Boston, yeah, uh, Thornton playing against the team that drafted him. Which See, one do you think the better storyline? Oh, that's the story. The one I was leaning towards right, right, right when you first oh, started talking. TJ, you and your Boston. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing I thought was Joe Thornton. I think that would be an incredible story, but I don't want to see Boston in the Stanley Cup Finals. So. Come on, Steve. <laughs> it's going to happen, buddy. And also, I mean, that's not, I mean, just St. Louis as a team in general, the team that's just... Oh, they're so fun. Right, I mean, they were what? La- they were in last place at the New Year, right around New Year's. Like, dead yeah. last. Yeah. Did you watch the Dallas-St. Uh, Louis game? That was one of the most yes. exciting games I've seen in ages. That I- was nuts. I couldn't sleep after that game. And I didn't even. I, I was okay with either team. Obviously, I was leaning more towards St. Louis just because. I mean, what they've been. They've never had an opportunity. They've never won the cup, and it would be great yeah, to see them of, win. You guys don't think the of, story though is that a uh, uh, city is about to have three back to back to back championships? No, really, no, I think that that's no, a big story. Not at all. I know you guys no, hate on Boston, but that is has that ever been done? You guys, it's never been done, has it? I bet it has, and Boston hasn't it? No. No, we know Boston's never Patriots, had back Celtics. to back to back. Uh, I don't believe so. Huh. Um, you know, because when the Celtics were really good way back in the day with Larry Bird and the gang, uh, the Red Sox were not that good. And uh, the same thing uh, for the Patriots; they weren't that good I in those days. For either. sure, just recently they pulled that. Maybe, off. maybe you're right. I know that there may have been back to back, but I don't know about back to back to back. But somebody can correct me. There's got to be somebody from Boston who listens uh, that is here now who can tell me. It's kind of hard to get through all the texts about how to shave your boys. Right? Yeah, <laughs> so, I mean, we have a ridiculous amount of text messages. Mike in Des Moines also has another All right, advice. Mike. All right, Mike, uh, how do you shave your boys, buddy? What do you do? <laughs> you you got to use the guard, man. Yes. You have to use, like, an electric razor with the guard because, uh, you know, as you get older, I mean, I'm 41. The skin isn't quite as tight as it used to be. You know what I mean? But see, I look, without getting graphic, you can make your skin tight. Wow. Like yeah, but it, yeah. you don't want to slip because a little nick is going to cause massive yes. bleeding, and it just looks really scary. Well, all right. I guess I'm a professional because I don't have an issue. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I remember one time I had, I, had a, I had a little nick, and I did the same thing that you do in your face where you put a little paper towel on <laughs> oh, that. Put one down there. How and, was that? And, and, oh, it was a terrible idea. Yeah. Even my wife could not stop laughing at me. You yeah. give them a little like, band-aid. You do. And I'm like, wow. I mean, yeah, you got this big white Kleenexy thing down by your, you know, down by your beer. Yeah, that's great. Somebody has a good point. Use a Floby. Floby is Floby's good. Yeah. Wow. Floby's that's great. old school right yeah, there. Yeah, welcome to the 80s. Whatever happened to the really attractive nurse that would do it for you? I never I thought, knew that was an option. I, I'm not, on some of the movies I thought you watched, isn't that what happened? Oh, the masseuse. Yeah. That was the beginning. Yeah. How do I, I'm not done. Let's see. I'm tapping out. Oh, you're tapping yourself out of just well, revealing just a little too much? It's awkward that I'm going to share the premise of a movie that's of the adult a st- a variety. Wait, now you feel awkward? Why, you think it, you know so many premises of those well, That's movies. how that one, the, the opening scene, shaving. And, yeah, exactly. And actually, you know, <laughs> ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Wow. Wow, thanks for that. Yeah, that was very graphic, Steve. That was a great, uh, I'm making butter impression, Steve. You're really good. I've yes. seen that one, though. Somebody says Pat Sox and Celtics won in 07 to 08. 
Oh seven to oh eight. Is that true? Okay, there you go. It's I just, thought for sure Boston already pulled. Wow, that off. so they did do a three peat like that. I could be wrong. All right, we'll have to look that up. I know the Sox won in 07. That I know. Yeah. So, but I remember right around that time, it was just like a one after the other after the other. Like, you've got to be Celtics. freaking kidding me. Did the Patriots win in uh, 07 or 08? See, I'm talking yeah. like three in a row. Uh, and that's where I'm like where you go. Basically, when it's the, the, the team wins a championship, the next championship happens, and then the next championship happens for that same like following. Sweat. So it says Sox October 07, Patriots February 08, Celtics May 08. Okay, there you go. You have it. Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, boom. All right, I look at that. Damn, there's, so it's been done. Damn, so it says, come see, come see uh, Big Rich the barber. I'll shave his boys for 150 bucks. Okay. Yeah, that was a discount. That seems like a good deal. And I'm reading here that it's avoid electric razors because apparently they tend to pull hair follicles and leave razor burn. I don't know if that's true. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. I've, I've, never, oh, I've, 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 I've never used one. Hey. That poor guy is all hey. like hopped up on stuff right now trying hey. to figure it out. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's not, Just yeah. let the doctor do it. Say you forgot. Yeah. I think that's what they down did. As, as much as you can. And let did them they do that for Kevin it. Smith when they had to do his heart surgery? They had to shave him. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you go in, what are they going to do? They got Someone's got to shave you. I mean, they want your money. Yeah. Just go take a shower, a hot shower beforehand, so you're nice and ready for a shave. Really? Yeah, with any kind of shaving, like your face, your legs, right? Oh, yeah. You, you put your yeah, hot you, water. Use yeah. hot water. Okay, I see what you're saying. You I don't know why. The hair why do you got to take a whole shower? You just. Well, I mean, if you can dunk your boys, then go for it. Oh, I don't just... you dunk your boys? I do it all the time. I can't reach the sink, BJ. Get a big bowl, big bowl of something. Or you can just get like a, a hot towel, right? You can just get a hot face cloth and just soak your boys in that. <laughs> yeah, actually, they do right before I eat at those nice restaurants yeah. when they give the hot towel. Oh, that one? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I do that on an Alaska Wait, flight. that's not what you're supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> they do the same thing. They go, you want a hot towel? I go, I sure do. And they go, okay, sir, we're not going to take and that towel ow. back. Where you can keep that, sir. That's your towel. We're Good. Not. That's not for my boys? No. <laughs> Is that all it takes to keep that towel? Wouldn't that be great if you're on a plane and they give you one of those hot towels? It usually only happens when you're in first class, but then you just put it on your boys. Oh, but then that's the, when you get kicked off They're the turning plane. Yeah. the plane around. It's, yeah, 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 It's turning around at that point. Yeah. I might have to try it. I'll say, hey, I know Russell. He's I look forward to seeing you in the news. That's yeah. Great. I have to say, I feel remiss. We haven't mentioned much about Mother's Day. Oh, happy Mother's Day, BJ. Okay, good job. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Actually, today's Mother's Day in Mexico. Hey. Oh, is it? Feliz Día de las Madres. Feliz Day, Mama. Feliz Day, la Madres. Feliz Día de uh, las Madres. Oh, de las Madres. Oh, well, happy, happy Day de las Madres to you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, you are a mother, so yeah. Yes. I got my first gift and everything. What? I got a Mother's Day gift. Why From did who? You get, why did you get a Mother's Day? Well, because she's got a prince Cause of Because I'm, I'm a foster mom. Prince Steve. Wait, I thought... All right. Like, in a way... So, we take him to daycare, and the daycare effort. ladies okay. got both my mom and I a, a gift from him. Okay. It was really cute. All right. What? Plus, I feel like I'm like your mother, so I feel like I deserve something. So, you're uh, uh, so you're calling yourself a mother now, really? No, the daycare lady did. Would you refer to the, uh, as Prince as your son? I say foster son. You do? Foster son? Oh, yeah. Like, right. Does mom to, say it too? Uh, my mom will do it too. Man, it's you're going to confuse some people if you yeah, guys are out together. Yeah, exactly. It's How's he going to know who's mom like is? my brother or he's my foster. Like, until he's adopted, I think we just call him. Like, oh, it's, you don't think it's weird that the kid's got a couple of moms? <laughs> no, As opposed to you saying that he's your brother, at least. It's Sounds not. like the making of a great sitcom. Yeah, yeah right? Anywhere, I had my two dads. Anywhere we end up going, people always say congratulations to me. And so it's just oh, easier to yeah. just like, take it than try to explain I get it, because you, oh, like, you look like you could be his mother. Yeah, and then people and then, think my mom's the grandma. Yeah, that must be bad for her if she says, wait, yeah. I'm the mother. And then they go, well, who's this little creature? Yeah, don't worry about <laughs> that. <laughs> All right, fine. Well, happy Mother's Day then, Vic. Sure. Thank you. Anybody else want a Mother's Day wish? Yes. You and I, you, you, your dog doesn't count. No. <laughs> no. And Rev, your cat doesn't count. No, I think I think they do. So, happy uh, Mother's Day, Michelle, from Frank and Carl. Uh, I'm done. Fur moms. Okay. Fur moms. So I brought this up. No, yeah. don't call fur. And what are you going to do for Mother's Day? Are you going to do anything? We actually did something this past weekend because Kathy was in town. Okay. So we did do something. I mean, I'll wish her a happy Mother's Day, but we already had a little party this past Sunday. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that was a nice thing. I got food, so I was happy. <laughs> and of course, the age-old deb- the age-old debate happened where I always get in trouble because I don't think I should get anything for Kathy because she's not my mother. Yeah, but she's the mom of your children. I never believed in that. It's Mother's Day. I will honor my mother, but I will not honor the mother of my children because though she's not my mother. The, my kids, it's their job to honor their mother. See, we all have a job. That's, Don't make me have to do two jobs. I honor, I honor my mother. You honor your mother. Leave totally, me out of it. That's totally fine. I'm just saying people like my cool dad, he always goes out of his way to do something awesome. That's yeah, right. because like your cool dad is... For his friend Steve. It's peer yeah. pressure. Your dad wouldn't no. do it if he didn't have to. No, actually, he loves giving gifts. Just oh, like me. good. Then where's mine? I got no, nothing. Because you are a mother something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. <laughs> to you, Danny. Happy yeah. Mother's Day. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Speaking of mothers. Here's a segue. What do Ryan Castle and an aardvark have in common? Oh. <laughs> what? All right, I'm going to tell you at 949 on The Rock. BJ and Mix mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. He's the drunk in charge. Now, the Ryan Castle question of the day. What's a Ryan Castle and an aardvark have in common? Is that like an anteater? <laughs> so. yeah, it's, he's got the she's got like the metal, you know, around him. He's like got armor. That's an armadillo, BJ. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. What's no, Danny, an there is something in common with BJ, right? Oh, what's an aardvark? I, maybe I think you're right. Maybe an aardvark is kind yeah, of yeah. He ants. doesn't. He looks oh. creepy. You know, an you know what's an You know what's worse than ants in your pants? Uncles. Oh dear! Wow. Glad you have a weekend to recover from that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming in, buddy. <laughs> uh, well, both look at BJ's Danny. They're like a weirdo. Okay, that's I don't both belong that. in a zoo. No, no. no. And they both look like BJ's package. <laughs> Okay. Minus, minus the rash. Yeah, this took... Uh, <laughs> These are the texts that we're getting. No, I don't. I think we're, we need to shut down the text line. Never. Hey, Steve, you like Indian food, right? I love Indian food. Well, there's an Indian restaurant in Scotland started serving a pizza that uses aardvark meat as a topping. There we go. I don't know about that. First of all, what's I'll an Indian... I'll stick with pineapple. What's an Indian restaurant doing serving pizza? And then, of course, there's the aardvark part. Uh, yeah, I don't... Uh, we don't know. There's no real, there's no reviews. There's nothing to tell you if this actually could be good, and I really don't want to try it. My takeaway is there's a new nickname for your drunk, junk, the ra- Rashy Aardvark, yeah. if I could spit it out. Don't talk about my junk and spit things out, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Wow. Jesus, Ryan. Uh, you know what? I am going to leave you. Happy Mother's Day. Speaking of a mother, <laughs> Ryan Castle's got a 12 pack for you. BJ and Miggs play of the day. You seen some of the bobs out there? I can't compete with Bob. This is a very awkward transition. I noticed your daughter's in there. <laughs> Why? Why would you do this to me? I don't. I don't. Some bobs I don't do it better. I gotta say. Sorry, some guys. Okay, first of all, I didn't want to know that you had a bob. Thanks for that. Your wife got it for me for Christmas. I didn't want to know that my wife. Mom. Yeah. And your dad's name is Bob. This is all very odd. <laughs> oh. oh. Goodness gracious. Thanks, Steve. You have to point that out. Thanks. Thanks for making it even worse than it was. Oh. DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another question from a listener. I have a mountain of credit card bills and consumer debt. Can I still keep my house if I file bankruptcy? Yes, you almost always can keep your home and, and your house, your car in a, in a bankruptcy. Depending on what type of bankruptcy you file uh, would depend on whether or not, for example, you can keep your vehicles if you have payments on them still. You can almost always keep your home if you're current on the payments on your home, even in full bankruptcy. In Chapter 13, uh, you can also keep those items. If you're behind on your house, you could catch your house payments up in a Chapter 13, take off a second mortgage in a Chapter 13. So keeping your, your primary assets like a home and car is almost always possible in bankruptcy. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. And thanks for listening.